What's going on guys? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite programs to use for pre-production and that is Satellite 3D by Elixir Software. Uh, this is a really amazing program. Basically what it does is it allows you to create uh, realistic 3D renders of studio setups uh, on your computer. So before you bust out any lights or anything like that you can just hop onto this program and you can build light setups and play around with different lighting without you know, having to rent a studio space or even set up any gear. So with that, I'm gonna hop over to my computer. I'm going to jump in. Uh, I've already got a session set up already, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of play around with it. So not too long ago, I did a video about the easiest way to create a white backdrop. So I'm just gonna basically take that setup I use and build that within uh, Satellite 3D here. So. I opened up this, uh, this blank room. It comes with some pre-built uh, pre uh, lights and a model and stuff like that, but I pulled those out just so we can kind of show you the process of adding lights in and, and adding a model. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we'll go over here to the model. We can just pick any number of models from the thing down here and we'll just go with the first one. So we'll just drag that in and it has a pretty standard pose, uh, just kind of arms out like this. So what we can do is we can go ahead and get into here. You can actually go into the posing mode and you can actually completely move the, uh, move everything. I mean, I mean, you have complete control over the pose of this, but I'm just going to pick one of these preset poses over here. So they've got preset, uh, standing, sitting, lying, and then they've got men's poses down here at the bottom as well. So since this is not a man, we are going to just pick just kind of a normal, pose like this and with the model you can have the eyes go to camera you can have the head go to camera you can kind of deselect this based on what you want um, and if you want to select a different model you can you can do that here so all the models kind of come with their preset uh, outfit in here too you can go over to the style panel and you can select a different outfit. So let's say we want uh, this outfit here. We'll go with jeans. You can choose to have a jacket or not. We'll keep the jacket on, but we can change the color of it. We'll kind of make it a gray, uh, gray highlight. Or if you want to remove the jacket altogether, you can change the uh, you can change the look of the undershirt. So you can have like, oh, that's the pants. All right, so the undershirt, if we want to make it yellow, we can do that, and then we can take the jacket off completely. So you can do a lot with the, you know, kind of parameters here, but really what's really, really amazing about this program, I think, is, is the ability to realistically recreate lighting setup. So with that shot that I had, uh, we're going to start from the back forward. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a light. So we go to mono lights and I had a 60 inch octabox. So by default, these lights are going to, uh, if you notice, if I, if I move this around, the light is going to follow the model. So that's pretty, uh, pretty handy when you're trying to just kind of get things set up at first. But when you want to start making some more uh, making some more tweaks, you can go ahead and deselect that just by taking off this uh, bullseye there. You can also choose to a, like turn the light off or on, and then you can also make the stand disappear. So if you're doing something where it would require a boom stand and uh, you don't want it to be kind of in this shot over here in this corner, you can just uh, make the stand disappear completely. So we'll go ahead and start with this. I'm also going to go over here and we're going to just set some parameters for the camera. So uh, we'll just do a fixed 85. We'll do 250th of a second, which doesn't really matter because we're not actually, uh, we're not actually going to be like ambient lights, not a factor in this whatsoever. So, uh, and then I usually start my headshots at F7.1. So we'll start there. And let's just, for kicks, we'll switch this. We can either do a portrait orientation or landscape. So we'll go landscape for this one. And first thing I want to do is this light seems it's a little bit too high for the placement that I would like. So 
what you can do is you can either come around the side here and drag down up and down with this just click and drag or you can actually go over to the height panel over here and you can if you want to type in an exact number let's say i want it to be 3.5 feet we can do that that's a little too low so we can also drag from the right or drag from left to right to raise and right to left to lower and just kind of get it right where we want it so that's just kind of messing with that light and we want to go ahead and kind of adjust this camera how we want it we can do that later more when we bring in the other uh, when we bring in the other lights so let's go ahead and do that now so for the key lights i had basically i had two different um strip lights so they're small 10 by 36 this one is 10 by 35. um so we'll just drag this in and it's already starting to kind of shape up so we can even see if you look over on this side here if i mute this light and on and off it gives you an actual real representation of what that light's doing uh, another thing that's really cool too which i i haven't done yet is you can create light so let's say you have a specific light that you use you can actually input all of the all of that information over here where it says add so you can go 500 watt seconds 250 1000 you can actually add one and you can name it anything you want you can go do the power you can do the range so let's say it goes from uh you know it's a 10 stop range you can actually put all that stuff in there uh, i'm not going to do that right now i just kind of want to show you what this program does that's a whole nother video getting into that stuff so uh, so again, with this, uh, with this look, I did have the, uh, the light kind of off on our axis a little bit. So that's going to be our roll setting here. So we can either roll left, roll right, and everything's by degrees. Um, I switched my program over to, uh, American units. It comes, uh, it comes in metric. So if you use metric, it comes default with metric. If you don't, you can go ahead and uh, click Imperial measurement, which is what I did. And that just kind of helps, uh, you know, cause everything that I do is in inches or feet. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll just raise this up a little bit and we'll angle it in. And because I had another light that was basically identical to this, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Alt or Option and you just drag uh, by the feet here and you'll see it kind of highlight and I'm just gonna click Alt or Option and I'm just gonna drag it over. And what that's gonna do is that's going to just duplicate it. And then what we wanna do is we wanna take, if we wanna match the roll exactly, basically we're at negative 22.68. We need to do, and that will just, uh, so I just kind of took the negative out and that just makes it so now they're just like this. So. We're looking pretty good with that. I'm gonna make the model look up a little bit. So I just did that by, uh, by clicking the eyes to camera. So if I do that, the eyes look down. If I click eyes to camera, they look at the camera. So when that starts to look a little funky is if you go back into the posing mode and you move the head in weird positions it will try and follow the eyes so now if we if we take this snapshot the eyes are like way up like this so we don't want that so we're going to go ahead and just click the undo and that's good back to normal exit posing mode we can, again that can be a whole nother video just talking about the posing features in this program um, but for now we're just going to talk about the lighting so we're pretty good here. What we can do is again, we can kind of A, B, we can solo. So if I just want this light uh, to camera right to be, uh, to be on, what I can do is just push, click the S and that's solo. So if I wanna come over here, solo is that one and we can unsolo everything. So again, what, it, what this is great for is really just getting a feel for what the lighting is gonna look like before you even, uh, before you even get in the studio. Yeah, I find it really, really helpful if I have a client, you know, you know, that I want to make sure I get it right beforehand and I don't want to take the time to completely set everything up. This is a great starting point. I usually do like to, to make sure I have it right with an actual camera before I go on set, but this is a great thing. I can literally sit on my couch and watch Netflix and I can build a lighting setup and basically practice lighting, uh, you know, just within this program. So 
we're gonna go ahead, we've got this set up, it's pretty well there. What I did also have was I had a V-flat, uh, from V-flat world, just kinda as a tabletop fill. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna just drag in one of these uh, white reflectors, and obviously it's giant, and I need to change some parameters here. So I know the settings for, uh, for these V-flats back here are uh, basically like 3.33 feet and 6.67 feet. So we'll just do that and we can just type it in. And so what that's doing, so that's the full V flat top to bottom. I really only need it folded down. So I'm gonna go back and select this one to 3.33 as well. All right, so because I want this uh, to be a tabletop fill and I don't want it to be straight up like this, I want it to be like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have that little reflector selected and I'm gonna go pitch. Right now it's at zero, that's standing straight up. So I wanna do 90 degrees. That will put it down on the floor. And then what we need to do from there is raise it up to, technically it's gonna be exactly 3.33 feet because I, I rested on itself when I use the V-flat. So we'll just type that in. But if you had you know, a different thing, we can, you can select the exact height you need. Uh, obviously, this is going to be way too far away and it's not gonna do anything. So what I wanna do is I want to get on the Y axis because this is all on axis. So if I'm sitting here across this, is gonna be the X axis and then the length of the studio is gonna be the Y axis. So I wanna decrease the Y axis just a little bit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring it closer to the model. And what I also wanna do is I want this model to be a little further uh, away from the background, just so we don't get too much haloing uh, around the back. So we'll go to pose, and then we want the position Y to be increased a little bit, butt her right up against that. And what we can do here is I haven't adjusted the settings of the lights at all yet. You can literally, like I said, you can input uh, the parameters of the lights you actually use, so you can have that exactly to what you're gonna use. Uh, these ones are just default, so all of these are 500 watt second by default. Um, so you can go ahead and like increase or decrease the lights, and as you can see over on the side here, it's going to, in, it's actually going to represent the power of that light. So we'll go ahead and leave that about where it was. So these ones just, you know, with a kind of corporate headshotty look like this, I, I want it to be a pretty flat light on front. So uh, we'll just kind of keep these at even power. And a lot of times what I like to do is I like to kind of go around the room, just make sure everything, you know, looks all right. And I might go ahead and angle these lights down just a touch. And so basically, you know, you just kind of want to tweak it to what's going to work, what's going to work for you. And that looks pretty good. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take a snapshot. What that means is just basically it's the same thing as you taking a picture. Uh, you can either take a snapshot here or you can just kind of render it out uh, initially. So I'm just going to render it out. What that's going to do is it's going to load real quick. And depending on how fast your computer is, it might take a little bit longer. So we can look at that. That looks pretty good. And what I want to do though, is I want to go back to the setup and I want to take away this, uh, this reflector. So all I have to do is go over to this uh, set list panel and that has all my lights. So basically if I want the model to disappear, I just turn her off. Uh, it's very similar to kind of layers in Photoshop. So right now I want the, I want the reflector to disappear just cause I want an AB what that looks like with and without it. So we'll go ahead and just take the other snapshot. And what we can do is we can click these and, and get an actual direct representation of what it looked like, uh, you know, what it's gonna look like when I take the photo with my actual camera. So this is without, you can see the, shat or the shadows are kind of a little more noticeable under here and under her chin. So with the reflector, we don't have quite as drastic of shadows. So. Another thing that's cool is we're gonna go into the export menu over here. And this gives you literally all of the details you could possibly need. So this is where putting in your own lights is really helpful because you can export this and it will, you can give it directly to an assistant or something like that. And it has the, uh, the power of the light, 
the you know the distance uh, where the stand is, the the degree of the light, like literally everything in these little uh, in these little boxes. So this is really helpful to you know if you want to just you know give it to somebody and be like set this up, you'll get about ninety percent of the way there probably. So. Um, and you can kind of change change the uh, the look of it, and you can literally export these as PDFs. So it's super handy. Uh, and then another really cool feature that is brand new with this latest version is this community. Um, so basically, what this uh, what this does is this uh, you're able to upload your uh, set files, or if you're trying to looking for inspiration. You can literally go and you can do lights used, uh, and that gives you literally the exact lights that people were using or modifiers, uh, studio size. So we'll do, let's do this. Let's do two light setups, one model. Uh, let's do low key just for the sake of uh, YouTube. Let's turn nudes off and let's just go ahead and filter that. So. What this is going to do is it's going to, if my internet works, it's going to pull up different set files that people have uploaded. And you can literally click on this, find something you think is cool. So let's just go with, all right, just something simple here. Let's do, let's do this one here. All right, so this shows the setup that they used, the diagram, everything and you can like it so they're trying to make this a, like an actual like kind of a community they have a really amazing facebook community already uh this is kind of a newer thing uh, but it's really cool because now you can just it goes it's integrated straight into the program so you can just download the light setup right here and then you can play around with that and tweak that so if you're looking for something that is you know you can actually set uh keywords here uh so you can do category uh, editorial, fashion, glamour, headshot. So let's just do, let's do commercial. And let's go filter. And basically what that'll do is that'll just bring you the commercial, uh, commercial files. So again, this is a really amazing program uh, for pre-production and just to kind of play around with different lighting setups without actually having to set anything up. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. I do have a discount code in the description. And uh, so if you want to get a 15% discount, click on that, download this program. There's a 30-day free trial you can try out as well. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. And if you want to check out more videos like this, I post a new tutorial every Friday at 8 a.m. Central. And if you want to join me for one of my lighting workshops, uh, check out nextlevelworkshops.com. I'll put a link to that below as well, and I'll see you there.